Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Progress 2024 Okay, so let's talk about it. There are some certain aspects that I talked about for Yu-Gi-Oh! last year that we needed to improve. One of those things was negation. I said that for Yu-Gi-Oh! to proceed, we need to solve one of the biggest issues, which is negation. Let's get rid of just generic negation and remove it from the game. The second thing I said that we need to solve is communication. This is one of the things that I said that we definitely need to solve, that Konami needs to communicate with us much better moving forward, okay? And then the third thing I said that needs to be addressed as well is the sets. I believe last year we had way, 2023, we had way too many sets. We just had a lot of fluff and not, we had too much filler and we needed that to be addressed. So... Let's go to the next point and see, have these issues been addressed? First point that I talked about was the generic negation. So has this been addressed? We are now in 2024 and I would say yes, especially for TCG. We have seen that with the last two ban lists that we've had this year in 2024, it's been absolutely fantastic, right? We have seen that they have removed every single generic negate with our latest list out of the TCG rotation, which means now that decks can no longer pivot. Combo decks are now in a healthy spot. And to me, that is a massive improvement. And I think that is progress and a step in the right direction. And I know most would say right now, especially if you're playing TCG, but we still have Snake Eye, but we still have this, we still have that. But I want you to just look to look at the future and look at where Yu-Gi-Oh! is right now, especially in the TCG. Decks cannot pivot, especially combo decks, right? We're looking at a bright future where hand traps are there and going second matters. A two-player game matters, okay? And this is something that, this is one of the reasons why I said this was the biggest issue that Yu-Gi-Oh has, right? That needed to be addressed. Now, there are the issues Yu-Gi-Oh has now, especially on this front, to me are not problems. Generic engines, for example, is not a problem, okay? Type negation is not a problem. These have never been problems. What have been problems are generic negates, okay? Those are problems. And now that those are dealt with, there are other issues obviously we need to deal with, like some toxic cards, but we can deal with those cards when they come or when they enter our competitive scene. We can deal with them at the time that they come up, okay? But for now, the big elephant in the room is gone, and that promotes healthy two-player games because that is the first step we needed to conquer, okay, in this. We needed to bring back two-player games in Yu-Gi-Oh! And with the removal of the most famous generic negates, uh, Omni negates, we are back to two-player Yu-Gi-Oh! So, that is the first thing. The second thing was communication, okay? When it came to communication, this was another topic that I talked about, this was severely lacking, okay? Especially in 2023, but just in general. Konami rarely communicated with us, the, the community, and really did not communicate with us what they wanted to do, their goals, their dreams, anything. What I'm, what I'm happy about in 2024 was that we, had, we have now better communication with Konami. They communicate with us at a much better level than they have been in any other year prior. And I'm glad to see this as progress has improved. Communication has improved massively. We've had um, dates now for when our ban list was to drop. Just for an example, we've had so many things that have been improved 
from a communication standpoint that I think us as a community don't talk about this enough. The, the communication we've had this year has been an absolute improvement and I'd like to see this be a mainstay and stay for the foreseeable future. When nothing ruins the game plan. And I think the third thing I talked about uh, last year was the sets. The just the reduction of sets. And I think this was something I talked about as well when it came to 2023, but just in general, we had way too many sets, way too many sets that were just completely and utterly pointless, okay? We, and what I said was we need to narrow down those sets to core sets or sets that are useful and sets that hold value for us that we need. And this, this year in 2024, it's been absolutely fantastic as we've only had core sets. I don't feel we've had any side sets um, this year in 2024. I don't recall a side set really that we've had. Every set we've had has been impactful because it's been a core set. And because of this, the cards in these sets have been fantastic because we are not stuffed with just so many sets, right? The the probability of getting of distribution of great good cards has been improved. And I think this is something we haven't really, no one's really talked about in 2024 that we've had less sets we've had just our sets have been arranged in such a fantastic way and we need to really talk about that moving forward that's been fantastic and so i'll go over to the next point to the next issues now we need to address moving forward and the progress we can talk about for 2025 would you look at that the core issues that we that I talked about for 2023 have been solved. And if things maintain their current course, I believe Yu-Gi-Oh! Will is in a better place. So what are the next issues that we've got to address in Yu-Gi-Oh! now? And what do I feel Konami needs to address moving forward? I think one of the first things is, I think, pricing. Now, I all I want to say is this. If Konami wants to use the another verse cards, then use them, okay? But my argument is go hard or go home. Why not make the another verse card a giant card then? If if uh, pricing is going to be another verse, then go hard with it. I say go big or go home. Make the another verse card a giant card. Invest in it. Go hard in it. Where are the sleeves for this card? Where are the binder? Where is another verse binder? Where where is it? Right? If you're going to invest in the pricing, if the pricing is another verse, then treat it with respect and treat it seriously. Either go hard or go home. That's my opinion. If you're not going to fully invest in this another verse um, pricing that you're gonna put in. Where are the tote bags? And that's, and that's my argument that I'm saying. Where are the tote bags? Where are the sleeves? Where is the, the giant card? Where is anything, any product related to another verse in the pricing? It's not there, bro. We only have what? You only have a mat? Nah, 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 nah. So that's my argument. That's the first thing that needs to be addressed is pricing. Whatever thing that they're going to be doing with pricing, stick to it and go hard with it. If you're going to do another verse, then go ballistic with it and go full uh, 200, 1000%. Otherwise, don't do it at all. You either do it properly or you don't do it at all. Okay? The second thing, I think, the first being pricing, obviously, that definitely needs to be addressed. The second thing I feel is another format. I feel Yu-Gi-Oh! needs another format and I feel it should have another format. And, and I advocate strongly for the tag format, tag dueling, okay? And it's something that I think mentioned in one of my previous years in the previous video, Tag dueling can do wonders 
for Yu-Gi-Oh! in terms of advertising, in terms of bringing players uh, new blood into the game. One of the things that Yu-Gi-Oh! is missing right now, it's a tagline. It's an advertising gimmick that we can just use to bring new people into the game. Take, for example, if we had tag dueling, we could say this. Uh, you could put an example and say, duel with your friends. Duel as a team. The only card game in the TCGs that where team play matters. Just for example. And another thing that tag dueling can do as another format means you could resell old cards, okay, as new product. It's double dipping in the best way. You can resell garbage, okay? Come on, it's easy money, it's easy wins, easy days. And the only rule that you have to do is that there is no double decking. Basically, what that would mean is that if you would introduce this format, the rules would be exactly the same. But double decking wouldn't be allowed. That means that as a, as a team, you are not allowed to either of you to play the same archetype. Otherwise, but everything else goes. So, so for example, neither of you could play Snake Eyes. But as long as you're not, both not playing the same archetype, the world is your oyster in terms of creativity and in terms of how you play uh, together. The ban list would be for that uh, format would be exactly the same as the traditional ban list. The only difference would be is that at this point, as you're playing with two players, there'd be other cards that would be used in that format, rather, that you would ban, okay? And maybe you would have a diff you would you would they would share the same ban list. The ban list would be the same. The TCG OCG ban list would be the same. I think what you would have to do is there would have to be like you would say when the ban list come out, like for tag dueling, it's banned in tag dueling, for example, the tag duel format, but in traditional and the normal format, the eternal format that Yugi is currently in, it wouldn't be banned in. So those are the examples that you would have. So uh, cards such as Ancient Leaf wouldn't be banned because in the tag dueling, it would still be allowed. And then we would get to see whether, just have all chaos run loose. And that to me is the second thing I think we should add for Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, another format. I strongly suggest tag dueling. I think this could be something that could be in, uh, implemented into Yu-Gi-Oh straight away and you don't really need to change the rules that much. The only rule that you need to put in is no double decking and that's it. And finally, I think the third thing that we need to improve on in Yu-Gi-Oh, what can I say that Yu-Gi-Oh is lacking right now uh, that we are missing, that we really do need? And I do feel it comes from, um, I think that's really it. Honestly, I would say it's these two things. I mean, sure, there are other things that we have in Yu-Gi-Oh that may need addressing. But I feel these are the two most prominent things. The first one being, you know, the pricing, right? And the second one being another format. I think these are the two things that we need. And I think personally, as someone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh, I think a different format could really um, spice up Yu-Gi-Oh in just a whole new way. And I think there needs to be a different way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. And another format with tag duels could really spice things up in that department. It could really sh shake things up for Yu-Gi-Oh! in a way that we haven't seen before. And that's all I've got to say about this matter. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.